Have you ever wondered what the world around us is made up of at the smallest level? The air we breathe, the food we eat, the trees, even the ground, these are all made of molecules. So, what is a molecule? Let's look at water. It's made up of water molecules like these. They're too small for us to see with our eyes, so this is what powerful microscopes might see. To understand molecules, we first need to zoom in even further to see atoms. Atoms are the building blocks of molecules. There are around a hundred different types of atoms, and they can bond with each other in many different combinations. These combinations are molecules, and there are many, many different molecules that can form in nature. So, back to our water molecule. We can see that one water molecule is made up of three atoms. It has two hydrogen atoms, each attached to one oxygen atom in the middle. Other things, like air, are made up of several different molecules. Air includes molecules of nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. There's often a few water molecules floating around in it too. Even we are made up of molecules. One of the most famous of these molecules is DNA, which carries the instructions our bodies need to grow and work. DNA is a much bigger molecule than any of the ones you've seen already. One molecule of DNA can have a hundred billion atoms in it, but it's still too small to see without using a microscope, because atoms and molecules are really, really tiny. You contain over a billion, billion, billion atoms bonded to each other in many different molecules. Not only are molecules so amazing in the sheer number of them that can exist, they're also amazing in the way they behave. The number and type of atoms in a molecule, and the way they are bonded together, affects how they behave at scales we can see. This molecule is called methane. It is one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. At our regular room temperature, lots of molecules of methane together exist as a gas. This molecule is found in cow burps. Let's add some more carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms to our molecule. Now, it's not simply more of a methane molecule. The molecule itself has changed into something new. It's called hexane, and it exists as a liquid at room temperature. It's used in petrol. Now, let's add even more carbon and hydrogen atoms, and our molecule changes again. This is called hexadecane, and it's a solid at room temperature. It's used in candles. So even though they all contain only hydrogen and carbon in a line, these molecules act quite differently from each other. And molecules can be big or small, all sorts of shapes, and contain lots of different types of atoms. Plus molecules can change shape, or lose atoms, or change how they are bonded together. Meaning the world around us is filled with variety and change. All thanks to microscopic, minute, minuscule molecules.